Hello students, let's continue with polynomials. Today we will be discussing about remainder theorem. But before we proceed with the theorem, we need to first understand the basics of division. With, uh, so let's start with numbers and then polynomials and then we'll see how it goes. So let's say I have two kids named A and B. And I have seven chocolates. Seven chocolates. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Right? Now I want to equally distribute seven chocolates amongst A and B. So I'm going to give the first chocolate to A from here and the other chocolate to B. Similarly, the second one and third one. But we are left with one now. Now, so how am I going to distribute this one? You can't really distribute it uh, equally amongst the both of them until unless you cut into half which is not a good choice so here we have one chocolate remaining right this works good when we have very small numbers but what if we have huge numbers how are we going to calc you know do the distribution for this we use division so let's say i have a number 236, 263 and I want to divide it by, uh, divided, I have 263 chocolates and I want to divide it by between 3 kids, right? So I am going to follow the normal division method, 263 divided by 3, right? 3 eights are 24. Three sevens are 21. So my remainder here is 3. Always observe that this is the dividend, this is the divisor eighty seven is the quotient and two is the remainder. Remainder as in just like here, we had one chocolate remaining, we have two chocolates remaining. So this becomes the remainder. So now there is a general concept. I'll write that for you. That relates these four terms. It is nothing but dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Take a look at it. Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. We can verify this using this term. So let's say our dividend was 263. Right? This is the LHS. That's the left hand side. Let's take a look at the right hand side. What was the divisor? 3. The quotient was 87. So 3 into 87 plus 2. Whatever answer we get if it matches this, then this equation is verified. So 3 into 87 will give me 3 7s are 21, 3 8s are 24, 25, 26 plus 2. So this is equal to 263. So you see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So this equation is verified. Now these are with simple numbers. How about when you have polynomials? First of all, here we have a remainder, right? So in some cases, you won't be left with a remainder. So let's take a look at this example. 121 divided by 11, where 121 is your dividend, 11 is your divisor. Let me divide it. 11 ones are 11. 11 ones are 11. So you see here the remainder is 0. So whenever a divisor is dividing the dividend completely and to give a remainder as 0, we say that the divisor is a factor of the dividend. So here 11 is a factor of 121. Similarly, let's take a look at a few other numbers. 
so if i take 120 okay 120 can be split into 60 into 2 right so 60 and 2 are factors of 120 further 60 can be further split into 30 into 2 this 2 comes down as it is right so here we get 60 and 2 are factors of 120 here we get 30 and 4 right similarly 30 can be split into 15 twos are 30 and we are left with so i'm taking 15 and 8 so 15 and 8 are factors of 120 similarly you can just keep splitting this for example 3 fives are 15 3 fives and 8 comes down so we can also say that 3 5 and 8 3 and 5 are factors of 120 even if i write 3 and 5 eights are 40 so 40 here is a factor of 120 so you see whenever uh, if you so if you divide 120 by 60 or by 2 or by 30 or by 4 or 15 or 8 or 3 or 5 or 40 you will get the remainder as 0 so all these terms all these numbers individually are factors of 120 so these were for simple numbers let's take a look at polynomials So if I have a number 3x cube plus x square plus x right and I want to divide it by a monomial x. The division will be very simple you can simply write it as 3x cube plus x square plus x right upon x. Now I am going to split each term with the denominator this becomes 3x cube upon x plus x square upon x plus x upon x right so this becomes x ones are x twos are x ones are x ones are x ones are x ones are so this term becomes 3x square plus x plus 1 so you see the division here was very simple but what if the last term or any term is not divisible by the dividend the divisor what do we do then for example if i have 3x cube plus x square plus 1 and i want to divide it by x if you split 3x cube upon x plus x square upon x plus 1 upon x right so x ones are x twos are x ones are x ones are this will give rise to x raised to minus 1 which is which makes this entire term is not a polynomial so there is a different strategy that we will follow to solve this i'll let this be as it is over here which is known as the long division method So I am going to write my dividend as it is 3x cube plus x square plus 1 divided by x, right. How are you going to solve this now? First of all, you, uh, for long division it is very important that you write your terms in descending order of the exponents. I have it in descending order of the exponents but just in case in your books sometimes you know the uh, polynomial, uh, the numbers, the different uh, terms of your uh, polynomial are place in a very haphazard manner so you need to first the first thing to do is arrange them in descending order of the polynomials uh, of the exponents see x cube x square and here if you multiply x 0 with 1 you get 1 so x and 3x cube what am what should i multiply with x in order to get 3x cube so this will be 3x square right so 
3 x into 3 x square is going to give me 3 x cube. You need to make sure that the sign of this and the sign of this are the same, right? Sign of x and 3 x square because in division we subtract. So when you subtract, you get 0. Okay? You're going to get your x square down. What will you multiply with x in order to get x square? So plus. Here also there was a plus but it's not needed because it's the first term. So x will give me x square. You subtract, you get 0 and you get down your 1. So x, what do I multiply with x in order to get 1? Nothing. So here my remainder is 1. Okay, this can be written in the form of dividend is equal to divisor into portion plus remainder. So, I will write the formula once again. Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So, what was our dividend? 3x cube plus x square plus 1, it is equal to divisor is x into quotient which is 3x square plus x, I will leave the 0 as it is plus 1. So, here 1 is the remainder. I have boxed this up the remainder because we will be the remainder theorem is going to be based a lot on what we get as the remainder okay but before we proceed actually with the remainder theorem let's look at certain solved examples so i hope you have understood the basics of the long division method for finding the remainder and how to divide the polynomial we will continue with the solved examples in the next class thank you Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.